What is up you guys? Born to Grind here coming at you with week two of my group's group Iron Man progress. But before we get into the video, I would like to say if you missed episode one, it was a 40 minute complete banger. Loved it. Very proud of it. Longest video I had. First order of business for week two was getting my smithing up a few levels. Not only are the levels super easy, but it's going to add to our high score, so, you know, why not? I did mine in Varrock rather than starting the Gentle Dwarf quest to go to Keldegrim to get access to the Blast Furnace to buy the ores that I needed and smelt them there rather than doing what I'm doing here. Did not feel like doing it at all. The run to Relica is a fucking run, let me tell you. I kind of just wanted to do something a little AFK. Did not feel like running, but I mean, come on, can you blame me? <laughs> After doing all that mining though, I proceeded to do some more mining because Lore, our dedicated rune crafter, needs pure essence. We are bottlenecked by cosmics, so that's what we're going to work on. We need to enchant some jewelry. We need to enchant stuff, <laughs> pretty much. And we need nature runes too, but for now, cosmics are what we need, so let's get that pass. While Lore and Cube proceeded to get their Agi up to get a full set of Graceful, I took my ass to Temporus, because you know what? I got the Dragon Axe at Winter Todd. I want the Dragon Harpoon for my team. But instead of getting a harpoon within my first four reward permits, I got the fucking tackle box. Now, I don't have one of those on my main, but I'll take it. It's actually really, really freaking cool. Temporos is pretty easy to do. And as far as I know, you only need 35 fishing to get in there. Now, I, of course, like I said, I would love to get a harpoon. But I will take any of the uniques that it decides to give me. Plus the caskets. Caskets are definitely worth it, especially for Iron Man. They have a chance to drop rune armor for fuck's sake. And not only that, but they drop a shit ton of jewelry. You can get recoils really early, rings of dueling really early, and a whole lot of other cool stuff. Although, if you end up having poor RNG, like my teammate Cube, have no fear. Getting a shit ton of fish, feathers, planks, and steel nails and stuff like that is not the end of the world. Because those are great for leveling construction, as well as cooking. And Lord knows, Iron Men need all the help they can get, right? Not only am I going to be able to level my cooking off of the fish I get from here but I'm going to be able to throw at least 1,200 raw fish lures way because not only could they use a cooking boost, but they actually want to get to 70 as well for the recipe for Disaster Quest. So that's on the list of things to do, uh, as well as getting our rune crafting up, getting our POH settled, and just a variety of little odds and ends. But for now, I decided I'm going to take my temp KC to 100. Hopefully I'll get a tome. Hopefully I'll get a harpoon. But we'll see. Now, this next clip might not mean very much to anybody at all, but I hate farming on my main. I have never farmed a single thing out of a patch ever. This is my very first ever herb harvested on old school RuneScape for my group Iron Man team and I am so proud. It leveled me up and that level was my total level 500. Very proud moment. Had to document it and share it with you all. But uh, yeah, farming's not as bad as I thought it was. I don't know why I hated it so much. Um, especially since I'm doing it on my group Iron Man where I don't have tellies versus on my main where I have all the money in the world to spend on tellies. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be farming on my main. <laughs> but 
it is still a little bit boring so I would kind of rather go mine some pure essence for lore than do farming so we're gonna get a few hundred of those the going for that is kind of slow but I think I've managed to give lore about 2k essence so far just mining out a few hundred at a time for as long as I can possibly stand it because I have to do it in Varrock that's just the best place for a skiller and uh, I get a few hundred of those for them and it's time to do a little uh, supply drop into shared. I have done a bunch of temporos, I've done a little bit of farming, um, mostly got a bunch of stuff from the caskets to put in there uh, for random events. I have always done the Jekyll and Hyde to get the Tudo Strength Potion. Um, I do all the maze events. I've gotten some death runes from that and a couple other little items. I do not recommend opening the chests up though for that. Just run straight to the middle. I've never gotten anything good out of the chests. I do want to apologize though because this is where the FPS really makes the clips look awful to be honest, but it's kind of impossible to redo the clips. So I kind of, you know, I'm just stuck with what I got. We're making it work. It's a-okay. It's a-okay. <laughs> I also want to thank you for viewing this video. If you are hearing this right now, thank you for picking up what I'm putting down. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it. And if not, you know, you could always just like the video too or dislike it. I mean, you know, haters gonna hate. Now I got some death runes, I got a lot of jewelry from Temporos, and I'm also going to put in a ton of herb seeds as well. Probably other than the herb seeds, the best thing I got from Temporos caskets was the rune chain body that either one of my other teammates is going to wear or out. If they have a plate body, they don't need a chain. And the loop half of the key. I mean, of course we do need the other half, but that, when you open the chest in Taverly, it gives you a guaranteed Dragonstone, which could be turned into some jewelry, maybe. We will see about that in the future, but it's all going in shared. I am at 40 at Temporos KC now with 42 permits, and I'm showing you my casket loot from previous temps. Look and see what is in the very first slot there. I got three rune kite shields out of one singular casket. That, my friends, is why Templars is so good. It's good when it's good, and when it's great, it's even fucking better. My team loved me when I told them I got three of these. I wish I could have got four, or another casket with just one in it, so that everybody could have had one. But that made such a huge difference. People are training combat now. I think some of them are doing a little slayer on the side just to get a couple points along. I know that getting up broad bolts is going to be a huge deal for them. And at 40kc, I would like to say I'm pretty lucky because I've already got the tackle box, but I would have gladly traded that tackle box for a dragon harpoon more useful for the group as a whole but alas instead of giving me a harpoon I get the fish barrel which is another unique and I'm not going to get another one of those now that I have one now so I've just been getting a ton of pages I'm starting to think Temporos is going to do me like Water Todd and uh, not let me get a tome or anything else that's what I want got tired of Temporos, made my way to Varrock to do the natural history quiz because might as well knock that out. It's going to give me 9 Slayer and 9 Hunter. Hunter levels very useful. Slayer levels also useful because that's probably as high as I'm going to get with that as a skiller unless I put books or genies into it. Starting off at level 12 Hunter from the History Museum quiz thing, uh, I'm now level 22 off of just snaring some birds. 
The next step is probably going to be hunting butterflies up north um, above Relica, you know, if you go that far. I don't want to go that far, but I'm going to have to simply because I can't hunt swamp lizards. I'm a skiller. I can't go to Canopus. Ugh, it's okay. We can get through this and we get through this. No problem. It sucks. I'm over it. Let's get it. But, you know, after hunting all freaking day, you can work up quite the appetite. And you're not you when you're hungry, so I ran myself to the Hosidius kitchen with my 100% Hosidius favor that I got to use the kitchen. And uh, I cooked up hundreds of fish that I got from Temporos. I had just been stocking up on them and holding them for, you know, an occasion such as this. And uh, I realized there was some room in group storage, so I just threw all of the junk, well, junk to me because I can't do anything with it, but perfectly good enchantable jewelry I got from Temporos and shared for somebody else to either enchant if it is good to enchant or probably sell or high alk. I don't know. I'm kind of just tossing stuff in there and letting them figure out what they want to do with it. Perfectly fine with me finally reached my goal of 100 temporos KC. Sadly, there's not much to note other than a few caskets in this loot, but I would like to take the time to tell you guys because I totally forgot when I mentioned the rune kite shields. I said I wish we had four of them, but why would I need four? Because last time that you checked, me and cube slash skill were skillers. Well, uh, Things have changed. Cube decided that he would not like to be a skiller anymore. Perfectly fine. Support the decision 100%. The team is behind him in this. Play how you want to play. I mean, if you don't, it's not going to be fun, right? So, uh, I've been taking the time to pick on him now and again because, uh, if he's not a skiller, he's going to need a name change. I'm just saying. It's false advertising. And here we are at the end of week two of my group Iron Man progress with my team. It's going pretty good. Everybody's contributing, making huge gains. We are so proud of each other, cheering each other on with every little step that we take. I'm looking pretty good at a two mil bank value. Just going to show you guys a little bit. Um, I am here in Catherby, right below the lake that looks like a ball sack, chopping maple trees because I'm getting my fletching up. Easy levels. I have 99 fletching on my main, and the bows are going to be great to high elk. Um, yeah, that's about it, you guys. There are a lot of clips where I did things and I just decided not to keep them to make the video shorter. The main one was I made a ton of pineapple pizzas. I finally made all the botanical pies and I made some pies to raise your fishing skill. Huge, huge, huge. Now Cube can do a bunch of herb lore. We need prayer pots. That's his main goal for herb at the moment. Food situation looking really good. Seed situation looking really good. The last tab that is marked with bones is the tab that I'm putting everything into shared. I'm going to put into it is there. Very easy to organize. It's like, oh, shared or not. Boom, put it in there. And once we get these bows out, that is going to be a huge chunk of change, probably for construction, but that's about it for me, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching the second video in my group Iron Man series. The first one, I know it was super duper long, but there's just so much going on and I didn't want you to miss a moment of the progress. I will catch you guys on the next one but not before showing you my group stats for the end of the week.
here they are.